So you've all heard of anesthesia, which means no feeling. Synesthesia is a joined feeling, things coming together. It's a blending of the senses. So what synesthesia looks like is somebody will have some sensory experience coming in, and that will trigger an unusual sensory experience for them. So in this case, a taste in the mouth triggering sights and colors and shapes. Now the thing about synesthesia is it's involuntary and unconscious and automatic. It's not somebody making it up. It's somebody having a genuine perceptual experience. Now that's all the animal research I'm going to show because <laughs> synesthesia is fundamentally a human phenomenon. And what I'm showing here is the most common form of it where things like numbers and letters and weekdays and months will trigger an internal experience of color for somebody. So for example, for this person, uh, when she sees the letter J, it triggers an internal experience of green for her. She can see if I've written J in black letters, she can tell me it's black ink. It's not a hallucination, but nonetheless, it triggers an internal feeling of greenness. Now, it used to be thought this was very rare, but we now know that it's at least 3% of the population has synesthesia. So how many people here have synesthesia with letters or numbers or weekdays or months? Okay, quite a few. Quite a few people here have it. It's not as rare as we once thought, and it turns out there are many forms of synesthesia. So um, here's an example of, of, of auditory stimulation, hearing something, triggering a visual with colors. So for this woman, this is what she sees when her furnace kicks on and goes whoosh. That's what she sees visually. Um, many people have musical colors, so things like notes of the scale will trigger a color experience. So for somebody like that, whenever, you know, whenever a key is played on the piano or on some other instrument, they have this experience of color. This often helps them to tune their instrument. Um, for other people, it's the timbre of different instruments has different colors. So for somebody, a clarinet might be golden and a piano is always green, something like that. Um, there are many, many forms of synesthesia, and the ones I'm interested in today are the ones that trigger an experience of color. This is very common for this sort of thing to happen. Now, there's this question about, is it disadvantageous? And the answer is no. You'll notice I have not talked about it as a disease or a disorder, because it's not that. It's an alternative perceptual reality. And in fact, it's advantageous, because people who have synesthesia tend to have a better memory. So, for example, these contests where people memorize pi, 3.1415, the people who win these contests are the ones who have synesthesia. Because for them, they can have something else to associate the numbers with. Um, and in fact, there are some very famous people called mnemonists who have untaxable memories. You can give them uh, random words and numbers and so on, and they can memorize all this stuff. Uh, the guy who holds the world championship for the digits of pi, 30,000 digits, has five-fold synesthesia. So for him, not only does each digit of pi have a color, but it has a texture, a gender, a shape, and a personality. <laughs> and so for him, there's this whole story landscape that's going on, and he's able to memorize pi out to very large numbers. 